everyone. I'm trying some new angles with the camera and lighting, and hopefully sound is better too. Um, now that I have my cart, I can just drag it out and work on it, and I don't, don't have to have you guys like straight up in the face. Oh, I wanted to show you my new apron, my little work apron. Let me get that out of the way. Renee from Blossom Soaps made me this. Cheesy peppers, because I'm in Santa Fe, New Mexico, of course, I had to have them. And uh, I love the half aprons for when I'm not soaping. When I'm soaping, I like the full aprons in case I splatter anything. When I'm not soaping, I like the half aprons because, uh, you know, you end up wiping your hands and doing whatever, and this way I'm not destroying my clothes. So when I fill orders, cut soap, anything like that, the halfies are the way to go. And she is ridiculously priced, you guys. You've got to go check her out. Uh, BlossomSoaps.net. I'll put her link down below in her YouTube channel. Um, she's got a ton of fabric. She'll totally custom make whatever you're looking for with what she's got. And I think I paid $10, $12, something like that for this. Fabulous. Absolutely love it. You guys have got to get one. Okay, back to the show. Uh, oh, and of course I got my hair done, So, and I got my nails done. I don't know if you can see, see my nails. I know they're short. I had broken a couple of them, so I had her just take them all the way down and let them regrow. No dragon nails today. And I'll put a picture up of my hair, because right now I'm just icky. I'm sweating, and just none of that pretty stuff. You ain't seeing any of that. having to restock. I'm out of the pink sugar, bang banger, and the pumpkin juice. I'm trying some new. I'm just not happy with that design. I keep playing with it. Or the butterbeer, sorry. So I keep playing with it. So we'll see. We'll see what that one's going to look like. Alrighty. I have been so, so, so busy this week. Had some awesome things happening, and it feels like forever. And I'm very grateful that I was patient and I waited, and I didn't lose faith. You know, things are finally getting to a point where we're getting comfortable, and you know, life is life is getting pretty nice. Toasty in here today. We're due for a monsoon storm, and the humidity is just ick. Ick, ick, ick. Oh, and that little one will be perfect for samples. I'm still going through a ton of boxes to try to make sense of my space, but it's getting there. All right. So, as you know, they start off yellow, but then they go dark, dark brown, and the little pink and white hearts on top. Here we go. All right. So this is an experiment in this angle. I, I can't see the back of the camera, so I don't know what you see and how good you're seeing. So you're going to have to let me know if you absolutely hate it like this, or if you want it changed, or whatever. Okay. My ruler. This is the fang banger. And cuts off to the side. This one I played with a little bit too. I'm all out of that red. I needed to really get a deep red in there. So I kind of went with an orange. I think it still looks pretty cool.
smell all the fruit popping in that one. It's got that little bit of a spicy note to it, but then those bright cherries and strawberries why not pop out of that one. Ah, look, it looks like a monster mouth. Ah, 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 ah. Perfect. That one almost looks like a pumpkin, huh? Do, do, do. Okay. That's the side. Oh, pardon me. I'm stitching. I need to wipe down. Ooh. I chose these. really dark too if you remember correctly. So right now it's coming off as yellow and orange, but that'll go brown and orange. Give it a little bit of time to cure up. There we go. That's the butter beer. What am I doing? I'm all turned around. pumpkin color in there. I don't know if you can. I'll just keep showing it and I guess we'll see, won't we? Pretty, 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 pretty. I can't wait till I get my new cutter in. Yay. I am sad to see Deb from Springvale Soaps won't be soaping anymore, but she's going to stick around with us, thank goodness. And uh, she's been selling some of her supplies, and that sweet, sweet woman got a hold of me and asked me if I'd like to buy her soap cutter, because she had seen my video where I was crying and whining that I would probably never be able to afford to get one of those things on my own. And she got a hold of me and offered it to me at a great price and at great terms. So I'm thinking by next week, you're going to see me with my new cutter. I'm so excited. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to cut every soap on it. But it'll be nice for my straight cut soap so I can just go zip, 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 zip. That'll be fabulous. So, And I had somebody bring up that they were worried that once I had the cutter, I wouldn't be any fun to watch anymore because I'm not going to be sitting there slicing and talking. So, come on. Get real. It's me, folks. Do you think I could ever keep my mouth shut for long? Oh, please. I don't care if I'm using a slicer, dicer, cutter, or what. You know I'm going to talk your ear off. That's just the way I am. So, don't you worry about that one little bit. That just means i got to get more creative and come up with other stuff to talk to you all about. So you're going to have to watch me do all kinds of other stuff. Anyhow, i got work to do. Oh, look, i got to show you my little mini cupcake. I had a little bit of the pink sugar left over. So I made me a cupcake. Cute. Oh, oh Lord, I love that pink sugar. Mmm, so good. All right, guys. See you later.